Does soy consumption contribute to thyroid issues or hypothyroidism? A revolution has been occurring over the past couple of decades in uh, healthcare, and it is pointing to uh, research has been done pointing to foods as being the major problem for most of our um, issues and foods that may actually surprise you. Uh, a recent study published in the Journal of Exploratory Biological Medicine in 2013 uh, revealed that soy consumption actually can cause a reduction in iodine uptake in terms of producing the hormone, the thyroid hormone needed to run your bodies. Um, basically, they introduced it to soy, a soy uh, product, to uh, a fisher cat. And they found that the thyroid cells of the fisher cat were uh, heavily impacted in reduction in iodine up uptake, as well as thyroglobulin um, uh, production. Now, thyroglobulin is the, uh, if you remember seeing my other videos, is the taxi cab that actually transports the thyroid hormone to parts of the body for it to be processed and utilized. So imagine soy products actually impact in squashing this and also impact in iodine uptake. Now iodine is very important in the production of hormone protein in the thyroid cell, its cell itself. So in actuality, the two things could possibly be happening here is one is that the thyroid hormone is not getting transported and two, it's not getting produced. So both of those combined can actually cause hypothyroid symptoms by simply eating soy. So what is the takeaway here? If you have hypothyroid symptoms, don't eat soy. It's that simple. If you're worried about your children developing hypothyroid symptoms, don't give them any soy products whatsoever. It's as simple as that.